I wanted to take a second to talk about our new sponsor and that's Luna Finance. Our new sponsor is an asset and finance company that's making a real difference across Australia. Imagine you're a parent finally looking to get a new car or maybe you're on the cusp of launching a new business. Luna Finance can make that happen for you. From cars suited to the everyday family or if you're a bloke like myself and you need a big truck to drive, <laughs> Luna Finance has got you covered. What truly sets Luna Finance apart is how easy they make the process. No need to adjust your schedule. Their 24-7 online applications at lunafinance.com.au is a game changer. And if you're not into filling out online forms, any of that kind of stuff, no worries, just submit your details online and their dedicated team will get in touch with you. They're all about making finance accessible, no matter who you are or what you're looking for. Turn your aspirations into achievements with just a click. Apply at lunafinance.com.au today and discover the Lunar Finance difference. Season C's apply subject to credit specifications. Get over to Instagram and find them at lunarfinance.com.au and tell them Crossy sent you. And thanks to Luna for sponsoring this episode. <laughs> we are doing the Cross Family <laughs> podcast in the car this week because... We um, couldn't be effed. Yeah, because that, that whole setup of the other shit is like way too it sometimes it's just too much effort and we're too tired because of the yeah. bloody kids and having whatever all day like you were you got home what's friday morning at five yep and i had slept 45 minutes in in the previous 24 hours and then i had a hair appointment guys yeah stop so it Claire's looking all cute with a new bob yep shout out to hair by sarah yep the main attic a link in bio <laughs> How's your week, bud? Yeah. Um, we probably haven't even talked about our weeks, to be honest. Have I we? know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I obviously have been very hyper focused on my shoot. I've got a photo shoot tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and like I said the other day to you, like the anxiety of. There's a car coming. Yep. The anxiety of like having so much to do and then like sometimes it's like crippling overwhelm as yep. well so then like you just can't do anything you like crippled stand still yep. so i just like had to realize and recognize that that's what i was going through and then i was like you know what i can do all of these things i will just do it one at a time chip away at them. yeah yeah literally but you called me during the week yeah and when i was out bloody countryside somewhere yeah and you said um i don't think i want to do this yeah the whole modeling thing and mm. i literally told you no what you're trying to do is ski yeah. what you're trying to do is um you're scaring yourself out of it by like yeah. saying that you have a legitimate reason like you legitimately don't want to do this but yeah. all you're doing is scaring yourself out of it so you yeah. don't have to face yeah. it yeah. so it was like that was this, the day that i finalized my contracts i signed everything mm. and um it was like the reason i i guess felt that way is because like i'd finalized everything and i was like oh my god this is so it's like not baby shit can you <laughs> no oh. huey have you got a poo poo no it's baby poo. She yeah. just did two poos this morning. She wouldn't... That's why Sorry, I'm saying... Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you by saying well, it's about baby poo. No, it's okay. <laughs> That's the reality of having know, the two right. kids in the car. Yeah. Yeah, I just felt like, um, yeah, you know, a little bit of fear of failure yep. and like, yeah. That's a real thing too. Yeah. Well, I have it all the time. Obviously, I have that constantly. That's why I've never done anything like this in my life. Yeah, but... <laughs> I know that that's why you called me because yeah. I always talk about, like I always say to you sometimes like, yeah. um, can we get a coffee? Yeah, let's get a coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I always say to you sometimes like, oh, I'm, I'm a bit scared to do this because yeah. the company I work for um, doesn't, they hate me for doing social media. They don't hate you. Oh, 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 oh son, Trish, we're podcasting. Um, I, 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 those are the words that I would use to. I just like if you say they that, hey, you, they're definitely not going to let you do it anymore. Well, this isn't going on the trucking channel anymore. Oh. So if so if they, this has this got nothing to do with any of it anymore. Your work, yeah. yeah. So I could say whatever I want. But yeah, they don't love me for it. And yeah. I always tell Claire like I'm just scared that I'm going to lose my job because of this. Yeah. And 
which one day when all of our social media accounts uh, yeah we're getting a chino bud <laughs> when all of our social media accounts are earning yeah. that won't be a problem but right now yeah that's our bread and butter yeah literally um, so that, that's what made me nervous but that's uh yeah sorry i took over for a sec there what do you want that's okay um can i get a um iced latte have we got money for this yeah a row <laughs> can i please get a uh, medium dirty chai please yeah and if you an ice a caramel ice latte yeah. a caramel ice latte please no sugar syrup with no sugar syrup and a oat chino and a baby chino on zimmel no oat oh oat sorry not zimmel coffees this is this is funny this is the, this is the this best. is actually what this i think we're going to keep doing yeah, this because it's right. so easy yeah we just have to talk yeah yeah. yeah, that's it. Is there no sugar syrup in my... Oh, did you take the sugar syrup out of that ice latte? No, but I can take that one out. Yeah, Thank that'll you. be good, thanks. It would just be too sweet. Is it out of the ice latte? Yeah, out of the ice latte, please. Here's... Thank you. She saw the microphone. Yeah, I know, she I was, was going to say. She's <laughs> looking at us like, you guys are bonkers. Content, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so like I knew that I needed to talk to you because I was like the only person that's really going to understand how I feel is Jack. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so yep. I called you. I was like, I feel like I can't do it. I feel like, what am I doing? Yeah, that's and you, right. You like talked me off a ledge. Which yeah, that's was right. Very yeah. useful. Because I always have talked myself off a ledge. Yeah. Like for the last twelve months, that's all I've been doing. Yeah. And I've, I still get major like I don't like saying. Got the kitty teeth. Got Thank you. Oh, did you not get an ice? No, I like hot. I don't know why you think I like ice all this time. Oh. <gasps> Huey! Oh, we should have put the cut tray back. But, um, I still get mad anxious. I don't like saying that I have anxiety because I don't. Yeah. No, um, but like. But I still get anxious. Like, I just, um, I have to pick up a marketplace. Where? <laughs> in hills. Where's that? <laughs> this way. <laughs> <laughs> Which way? This way? This this way. Like go out towards Stanford. <laughs> Everton Hills? Yeah. <coughs> oh, Eaton's Hill. Sorry, not Everton Eaton's Hills. Hill. How was your week? Um, yeah, my week was fine. Same old time. You had a bit of a run around though that didn't you? Yeah, yeah it was week, a bit yeah. messy, but nothing I can't handle. No. Road trains here, road trains there. Got another road train back down to... Melbourne today. And you got the go ahead from your boss to do vlogs again. Yeah, I don't know how long that's going to last though. I know. Not after what happened. I posted a video on Facebook that I shouldn't have posted on Facebook. And oh, there's yeah. currently a community of 70,000 gronks having to go at me online. <laughs> but they're bringing but they're bringing mad traffic through my pages. Yeah, so, <laughs> so like, I'm not, all that, going, I'm not all that mad about it to be honest with you. And like the funny thing is is that they're like People obviously who are your like mates or yeah. like your followers have been like, it's not very nice, mate. Don't read it. Yeah, yeah. it's like not even that bad. <laughs> yeah, I know, but um, <laughs> it's not that bad. Like it's this, not this group. That bad. It's just like men who Get like the think they're. Well, they're just they're all just slimy little animals that are all gathered in the darkest corner of Facebook circle, jerking each other off. That page is so toxic that even as big as mine was and as mad as people got because when I got posted on that page it went pretty quickly and started moving around places and that page is so toxic that by the next day everyone had forgot about it there's still people posting my videos from my Facebook page into that page but um, <laughs> it's literally but getting, I mean they it's probably like, did that before right yeah it's yeah. literally one of my um, my uh, a reel that I posted on Facebook has got 30,000 hits on it <laughs> in yeah. under a day. I, I didn't know that we were doing a marketplace pickup. As soon as we start talking, <laughs> he starts talking. Sam, be quiet, mate. Okay. Um, yeah, I thought that would be funny if I just sprung that on you. <laughs> so you had this plan the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> going to do a marketplace pickup. Well, it's a buy nothing pickup, actually. Oh, yeah, so okay. I don't even have to spend any money, which is the funny part. Have we talked about your buy nothing group on this podcast yet? Uh, I don't know, but like, for those of you who don't know, this one, yeah, um, buy nothing is a like a social like 
construct like an actual program that's like got like a book and like a whole system behind oh it. God. Yeah. So it's some a stay at home mum that had too much time basically. Oh, Decide to write a book about her life. That's so funny. <laughs> but probably I don't really know her yeah. story, but yeah. So you, there's like like a set limit of um, how many people you can have in the group, mm. and then if like if the group gets too big, you have to split split it again. What? Yeah. What? So like our group is <coughs> Eden's Hill, Albany Creek and Bridgman Downs. But if it gets too many people in it, it would like break one of the suburbs off and have its own group. But people don't actually follow it, do they? Yeah. There's like five admins and like... Oh, what? Yeah, like it's really <coughs> like... Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> You've got to... What did you say? How did you find all this out? I don't even remember. Did I think maybe someone. Me- oh, it was you know it was Hannah. Oh, okay. You know what Hannah's like. She's a bargain hunter like me. Mm-hmm. She's like, oh, you've got to get into the buy nothing groups. That's cool. It's a black Queenslander. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so and, that's what. But then who? Right who? Now. How did you find out about the system? Oh, I, like um, people like have all the like page rules set yeah. up. Yeah. And there's like ones like there's like different pages that are like just free stuff yeah like brisbane free stuff and there's like no rules around it yeah and then there's like yeah buy nothing groups and there's like specific rules that you have to like do oh that's pretty i've never been down this i know right (sighs) this is what, what we're picking up is um some clothes for olive these people have got size one, so Olive's about to go into a size one, and yeah. they've got size one winter stuff for Olive. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's handy. Thank you very much. I'll I am. Um, my brain is starting to freak out. Why? My coffee's too strong. Oh. <laughs> Did you get an extra shot? No. Oh. There's probably two shots in a medium. That's so funny. Um, I if Don't I if I have coffee beer. too strong, I like full on. I it's like I leave my body. It's not. I'm like. Remember that time at Trip Mums, when I was sitting there freaking out because yeah. I had an extra shot in that coffee frap. You're like, where is Huey? I think I'm just gonna go in there. I'm like he's literally. Safe. But <laughs> uh, it's like I get. If I have too much coffee, I get high off of it. <laughs> yeah. Well, people do that. Yeah. yeah people get high off yeah. coffee. Yeah. Um, it's like the old men that are like, can I have six shots in my no, coffee? No, no. There was this one time that this bloke. Like a boomer. And uh, like middle of the night, I was at a truck stop. And everyone, the only thing people are ordering in truck stops in the middle of the night is coffee. Yeah. And um, this old fella ordered eight shots and the, none of us knew though, because he was in there by himself and then we all walked in. There was probably like five of us in there. And this old fella, the person called out his order and they said, um, they said, large flat white eight shots. And we all cracked up. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as he said it, he was proud as punch. To Just go take some no dos, bro. He was that tight. Oh, look at his old Max. What? Oh, someone likes the Max. Unhinged, it says. Um, and old mate, you need to put this microphone on on you when you go and get this problem. Oh, okay, yeah. Old mate was so proud to go up to the counter in front of all the other truck drivers and get his coffee. And I said to him on his way out, I said, "Geez, fuck, you'd be able to get out of your truck and run beside it with that much coffee in your mouth." <laughs> And he's like, oh yeah, mate, that's what I plan on doing. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> so funny. Or what did I say? I hope you can keep up with your truck with that much coffee in you. I, I hope, no, I hope your truck can keep up, up with, with you. you. Yeah, that's what I said. I hope your truck can keep up with oh, you with that, with that much coffee in it. That's so funny. Anyway, I started left cracking left up. You. Oh, right. Left and right, it's confused me. Everybody's, this is your first taste of Claire's dyslexia. <laughs> There's a lot of trucks around here. I know, right? Goals, I want to live out here. Look at all the ducks. You reversed Huey, the, can you see the duckies? He, oh. he reversed the bloody car trailer in there. No, How that's... Funny. Oh, no, there's an entrance there. <laughs> Is that why you can buy off one truck? <laughs> they both got one truck. Yeah, one truck. And 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 he's a contractor. Like, well, one truck at his house. Yeah, true. He might yeah. be one. But he's 25. definitely the other truck. It's the one with the big driveway up here. Do you she says, to... is that her house? You can just go up the driveway. Is sure? her front door, yeah. Is that what she said? Yeah. I messaged her before. Oh, she's got like two houses up here. No, Ooh, I think it's one big house. Ute. There it is. Okay. There's a Woolies bag at that door. Yeah. Take your mic, put on your car. 
I would film, but I don't. <laughs> this is someone else's house. Yeah, someone else's house. Do that. It's cool, you. Just narrate what you don't. Okay, guys, I'm walking up to the house. <laughs> Uh, cool actually it's got like uh, two houses we live here. like around us Big where we live driveway. if you g drive down all the side roads they're all massive houses with massive blocks we would, and we like <sighs> our dream is to cities. live on one of them like everyone just we're a while like off that it's close i'm probably talking over i don't even i didn't even realize um, if you like us and you live near rich people you get really great stuff and then you don't have to spend any money on it because like kids don't ever go backwards in sizes they're only getting bigger okay getting back in the car <laughs> let's go were you talking that whole time the whole time oh i was talking over you give me a look did that stay connected yep okay. how funny i was talking over you like when you're on your way to the door oh and I literally said, oh, I'm probably talking to everyone. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, we'll be able to hear later whose commentary was better. Well, probably was mine. It'll be all mixed up. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. Well, I can't split the audio. But what did you get, babe? Show, show everyone on the, okay. on the YouTube. Well, it's winter stuff. Oh, this is going to be gross. That's a bit gross. Yeah, I can already tell. I'll put my daughter in those things. I mean, that's fine. PJs. It's so dusty. No. No. These parents had no style. Okay, so this looks fun. What I've chat typed into ChatGPT is um, some fun and personal questions for husbands and wives. Okay, so number one is if you could have a themed party, what theme would you choose and why? Uh, that is so cool. That's a funny question. That's cool, hey? I've never thought about it. Yeah. Miami Vice cocaine themed party. Oh, that is so funny. Yeah. Not not because of actual cocaine, but no. I don't know. I've always felt like my soul belongs in the eighties a little bit. That is so funny. That would be fun. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Um, I think mine would probably be some sort of dress ups because I think dress ups are fun. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Um, They're not very fun parties though, are they? Maybe I've never been to a good one. Do you know what I would? love any excuse to wear my wedding dress again so i think it would be oh, like wedding. husbands and wives oh that's a good one a, yeah. a bride and groom but bride and groom oh that's such a good idea yeah we that'd should, be cool hey? we don't even have many friends <laughs> we don't have any friends but maybe for our fifth wedding anniversary we can have a husbands and wives wedding party oh my god where everyone puts on their, everyone puts a on a lot their... of people don't fit their wedding dresses that's, that's a, okay that's a problem that's yeah it's fine okay next question just like tie them up Right yeah. Um, what's the most adventurous thing you've ever done, and would you do it again? Oh, uh, like as That's a husband. That's by Riverside down there, by Is the it? way. Yeah. What did you say? Um, I don't know. What? What is it? Well, like you know how we went on the swing, the bungee oh, swing. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. The most adventurous thing as a husband and wife. No, like individually. Like what what's is yours? the most adventurous thing you've ever done? I don't really live a thrill-seeking kind of life. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Not anymore, anyway. Um, most adventurous thing I've ever done. I oh, think mine would be doing yeah. that swing in Rotorua with you. Oh yeah. And Harlem. Yeah. Was the three of us on there? Yeah. Oh, was yeah. it just the two of us, and then you went with Harlem yeah, after? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the two of us. I wonder if we have that footage we can put it in. Nah, nah. It's Kyra's on the CD got somewhere. It, yeah. Oh, does she? Yeah. Um, anyway. The most adventurous thing I've ever done is rugby tour when I was in high school. And will I do it again? Not at my age, no. Yeah. Not, not that I'm old, but not at my maturity not right level. Now. <laughs> if I was a teenager again, yes, I would do it all over. I mean, we, that yeah. It was wild. It was wild. Yeah. If you were a character, if you were characters in a movie, which movie would it be, and who would play us? Oh, that's cool. Oh, who do you think would play you? Um, I don't know. Hmm, let me think about it. I've always said Drew Barrymore, but I don't know if that's even Margaret. Maybe Margaret Robbie because Margaret. she's Aussie and I'm an Aussie. She's you don't obviously think doesn't look like me. Would, would play you? Yeah, obviously that's what I mean. Like she doesn't look like me, but like we have similar Adele. accents. Adele? Man. Adele's skinny now. 
Oh, true. Lizzo. <laughs> Lizzo. <laughs> Lizzo and I have the most like 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 um, bodies. Similar bodies. No. She looks like an apple. She looks like, she looks like she a black is apple shaped. <laughs> um, um, who would play me? Who do you think would play me? Um, Stan Walker. No. Yes. No. No, no, no. Oh, that's hard. Who do you think would play me? I don't know. Maybe like. I don't know. Jonathan Thurston. He's not an actor. <laughs> yeah, but still. Okay, next question. That's okay. boring. Yeah. What's the most delicious meal you've ever had, and can oh. we try to recreate it together? Chinese caravan takeaway back home at the flea market. <coughs> the most delicious thing you've ever had is that? That and you. Chuck. <laughs> I know I'm a whole meal, no, but not in that snack. way. Um, I'm not a snack. Nah, yeah, the Chinese takeaway caravan. That's so funny. When we were in New York, um, Sarah and I went to this beautiful restaurant, and it was the first time I ever had um, sea urchin. Oh, kinna. Yeah, kinna. And um, they cooked it. Oh, yeah. It was literally so delicious. Like, I can't eat kinna raw, but the way it was like, yeah, this very fancy restaurant. Oh, okay. And anyway, yeah, it was delicious. Delicious. Yeah. If we could travel anywhere in the world right now, where would you want to go and why? Uh, I've always want. I want to go to the European Alps. Oh yeah. Yeah, to like the Swiss Alps and all that. Yeah. I've always. I want to. There's. This, I'm you want a cold holiday? There. Not even when it's cold, but I want to hire uh, a fast car, like an like an RS6 or something, and throw every, throw us all in it and go speeding around the Swiss Alps. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like a disaster waiting to happen, but that sounds fun. Sounds though. like fun. Um, I'm a tropical holiday kind of gal, so I'd probably like to be on a beach somewhere, maybe an all-inclusive, every <coughs> every single mother on this podcast is going to understand this, I'd like to be in an all-inclusive all resort with babysitters and an open bar, How a swim-up open bar, so I can be in the water and then she's away. So you're going to get horny and drunk at the same time? Shark, shark. Water, water makes clear horny shark. for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an Aquarius. Okay, so I think like somewhere like Bali or Fiji. I've said I've wanted to go to Fiji. Yep. Fiji or like the Bahamas or Tahiti, something like that. Yep. Uh, yeah, get me. But also get you like native men. Native men? So that's probably half of it. I'm not looking at, look at the Fiji if I wanted fire dancers. To, I don't care for Fiji and men. I like Samoan men though. Oh. I could go to Samoan if you oh, want me to. Oh, well, shoot me because I'm not Samoan. Oh, no, well. well, I also like Maori men. Or my husband yep. in general. Yeah, look. Yeah, I just like thick white women. You, you just like me. Which I'm lucky that I'm not American because African American men like thick white women too. Imagine trying try to compete with them. If we were to have a spontaneous day off together, what would your, be your ideal way to spend it? I, I think I can answer Mommy. this for you. What? Yeah. At the pub. Mommy. <laughs> I know what mine would be. What? Shh, son, baby asleep. But I'm not going to say on the podcast. <laughs> what? You want to whisper it in my ear? Shark! <laughs> that is very rude. No, it's not. Very cheeky. I think my ideal day off would definitely be child free. Yep. Um, love my children, but I also love to um, not be have two it's leeches on me all the time. Shark! <laughs> you just got got it on your mind at the moment. And I think I'd like to go to like one of the fa fancy restaurants in the city, like somewhere like on the river and have like seafood and champagne and yeah. cheese. Yeah. Oh, yum. Yep. Anyway, that's me. What's one skill or hobby you've always wanted to learn? Um, how to weld. <laughs> weld? <laughs> what? That's so random. <coughs> yeah, literally. That is so random. Yeah, I've always wanted to know how to weld. Yeah. I think mine would be like, um, I I used to know how to sew, but I'd like to get back into it. Sewing and like crocheting and knitting and stuff. Mm. That's so random, but like. Yeah. That's a hobby. What's a skill? Hobby and skill. Um, skill. 
Maybe like nunchuck skills. Oh god. Maybe bow hunting skills. Shut up. Cake baking skills. Oh. Have you seen that movie? No. <laughs> okay, what's next? I can't believe you've never seen Napoleon Dynamite. Oh dear, I have. I oh. don't know that's what that was from though. Oh, I got really great nunchuck skills, bow hunting okay, but, skills, but, 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 cake battery. Okay, SD sorry. card. Um if we could relive one moment from our relationship, which moment would you choose? Well, that's a good question. I think mine would be our wedding day. Yeah, that's a that's a. And I probably good. would not have too many shots. Oh, you would? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, you can't go back and redo a moment. You have to relive it. Oh, well, Mine's I'd relive then I'd put down the vodka. That time that we were down at Wellow Point, where we touched each other and we got electrocuted. Oh, that was bonkers, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that, that was because we were forming a rope. I don't know, if you guys want to look into ropes, look into them. Yeah, I it, agree with it's you. It's basically a, a bond. When you make, when you, yeah, you, there's, these, there's these things called ropes that people's yeah, spirits like attach to each other. Yeah, like a heart string, yeah. That was actually electric, hey, wasn't yeah, that we, we, crazy? we got um, electric shock by touching each other. Did we though? Because mm. I'm not sure if we did. Yes, we did. We got electric shot. And then like, we were sitting there holding hands and across from each other at a table. And we both were like, I feel different. Doesn't know we were in like, the car. We were sitting in the car. Oh. And we like touched each other like this. And I could feel um, something moving through both of our hands. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, it was crazy. This is the most hodge, podge, ghetto, bloody podcast episode ever. Was one habit of dog. mine you find secretly, you secretly find endearing? What does endearing mean? Like, cute. Endearing one habit like, of yours. Endearing, like, mm. charming, but sweet, I guess. I don't know. What's yours? Um... Like, sometimes I can predict what you're going to say. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, in a bad way or a good way? No, a good way. Um, like, you, I don't know. you, you react the same way. I don't even know if you have any way. habits. Yeah. I don't know. None that you, like, recognise. Yeah. How funny. I've never thought about if you got any habits. Huh. Whatever. There you go. Average podcast, but this is a pod. At least we did something. Yeah, but we we're aiming for a hundred, and we have to put something out to get to a hundred. We yeah. can't just take a week off. Um, no. So half of click click bra bra click click pa pa pa. Okay. Bye. <laughs>